This is BBC World News. I'm Yalda Hakim. The latest headlines. There are fears more Syrian Christians have been kidnapped by so-called Islamic State militants than originally thought. Sources in the community now say as many as 200 civilians might have been abducted during raids in northeastern Syria on Monday. World football's governing body FIFA has announced it will not pay compensation to European clubs unhappy about plans to play the 2022 World Cup in November and December. The Greek government has suspended the country's professional football league because of violence during matches. Officials said there would be no matches next season unless clubs introduce security measures such as smart card ticketing. And there's been protests outside the Australian Embassy in Indonesia as a row escalates over the planned execution of two Australian nationals. This is BBC World News. I'm Yalda Hakim. The latest headlines. There are fears more Syrian Christians have been kidnapped by so-called Islamic State militants than originally thought. Sources in the community now say as many as 200 civilians might have been abducted during raids in northeastern Syria on Monday. World football's governing body FIFA has announced it will not pay compensation to European clubs unhappy about plans to play the 2022 World Cup in November and December. The Greek government has suspended the country's professional football league because of violence during matches. Officials said there would be no matches next season unless clubs introduce security measures such as smart card ticketing. And there's been protests outside the Australian Embassy in Indonesia as a row escalates over the planned execution of two Australian nationals.